All right, Bree's here because it's time for our holiday helping. Our 7 News team putting together tasty favorites for the holidays, and you're invited to check out the recipes. And it's all to support the local organization that's Fighting Hunger Project Bread. Tonight, it's Bree's turn. Yes, and tonight I'm making cornbread stuffing, and it has a spicy kick. everyone welcome to our home once again this year we're so happy to have you back my husband Sean Hi. and our little buddy Simba um, I'm sure you've noticed he's put on a few pounds this year the cat not my husband we're so excited to uh, share with you one of our favorite holiday recipes so let's just get cooking not necessarily a family recipe but a recipe I like to push on my family cornbread sausage stuffing with a little bit of a kick to it the first step you have to do make the cornbread the night before. Pull it apart into pieces, make these little croutons, and let it dry out overnight, and we'll cook the sausage. Let's brown this up, chopping up the sausage, getting a nice sear on it. Sean's got the sausage cooking, and we'll get started with the rest of the ingredients. Dice up some onions, some celery. I think this is done. So when the sausage is finished, you want to remove it from the pan, but keep all that nice grease and buttery goodness in the pan. Okay. And then everything's better with butter. This is what we'll use to soften up the veggies. Ooh, a little bit of sizzle. We're gonna put a little bit of Italian seasoning in here. Honey, would you please cut up the jalapeno? I'll do the jalapeno. <laughs> I always give myself a little makeshift glove because once you do this and then you forget and wipe out your eyeballs, <laughs> probably a bad move. Put the kick in the veggies, honey. Yeah. It smells super good. I'm gonna just throw the meat back in and let that set aside for just a second. Getting the eggs ready. Vegetable stock. You want to put your cornbread crumbs. Very oh carefully. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not working. That's why most people have their kids help them. <laughs> put the meat and the veggie mixture right in with the bread crumbs. Perfect. This is going much better than the bread. Now we're ready for the eggs and the broth to go in. It smells so good. I better do the dumping right, part this, this time. Here, I'll position that way. That looks good. A little bit of magic on top. Melted butter. Now we just have to pop it in the oven. All right, I think it's ready. Oh, yeah. smells good. So there it is, a good side dish for the holiday season. And thank you so much for supporting Project Bread. From our family to yours, happy, happy holidays. holidays. Oh, that looked delicious, Brie. I might be a little bit of a control freak in the kitchen. I cannot help myself because I do love to cook. But, you know, I love it that Sean's been, like, loosening up over the right. years. He's a little yeah. more comfortable in front of the camera now. Yeah, he's a natural. I love that makeshift glove. Just yes. to make sure you don't get any spices in your eyes, right? It's clever one. It's happened for. Yeah. yeah. Dangerous yeah. time. Well, if you want Bree's recipe along with the recipes to many other 7 News holiday helpings, you can get them with a small donation of Project Bread. Just go to whdh.com and click on the holiday helping box. You'll find it in the upper right-hand corner of the homepage.